OK, we're going to start up on a high E string at the 12th fret with the 4th finger, which is the 5th degree of an A minor triad. The thumb in the middle of the back of the neck and the hand set square and dropped with plenty of space between the underside of the neck and the cup of the hand. Pulling off to 8, which is the flat 3rd. And then an upstroke into the root notes on the B string, 10th fret, using the 2nd finger. Just releasing the pressure off the high E string with the 1st finger so as to mute. Then we're going to continue the upstroke into the G string at the 9th fret with the 1st finger, again releasing the previous finger pressure. Finger on, finger off for good note separation. So we're dragging the pick upwards through the B and G strings in a single motion. With the arm just pulling upwards slightly. From here we're going to shift to the flat thirds with the fourth finger up on the eighth fret high E string. Pulling off to the root note at the fifth fret and barring across the B and G strings. Try tilting the first finger and try to roll the finger with the wrist coming forward slightly. Next we're going to play an F diminished triad from the 7th fret high E string with the 4th finger, pulling off to the 1st finger at the 4th fret, and sweeping upwards through 6 and 7 on the B and G strings using fingers 2 and 3, finger on finger off for good note separation. We're then going to move up and repeat this shape 3 frets higher at the 10th fret, which is an inversion of our diminished triad. So, so far. In the second bar, we're going to play our first A minor shape again, starting with the fourth finger up at the twelfth fret. Before shifting up to the next inversion, 17 and 12. Sweeping through 13 on the B string and 14 on the G string with fingers 2 and 3. And then aiming for the 16th fret where we're going to play a diminished triad. Same shape as before, fingers 4, 1, 2, 3. And then moving down the flat 3, uh, 3 frets down to the 13th fret, another diminished triad. And then a shift up a semitone onto the 14th fret G string there for the finished note. Pulling downwards for the vibrato. Let's take a look at the example playthrough slowly. <laughs> 